What's up, world? It's Piso. Checking in with Nerd Era, where nerd culture reigns supreme. And this is my quick fire, spoiler free review of Hercules. Let's get right into it. So, Hercules. Um, I had a really fun time watching this movie. Um, the interesting thing about, the, about Hercules is if you're a fan of Dwayne The Rock Johnson, you are going to be a fan of this movie. Um, the Rock, to me, feels a very specific, and I'm going to call him The Rock, I'm not going to call him Dwayne Johnson, I'm sorry. He, he, spits, he fits a very specific niche in Hollywood, and that's the action star. You think about, you know, um, Arnold Schwarzenegger and what he did. Uh, just his physical body being in shape and his ability to act. Now, I don't think The Rock is ever going to win an Oscar, but he's really coming into his own as being a really dramatic actor. Um, case in point, there's a scene in this movie where uh, Hercules is tied into chains and he's trying to break free of the chains. And I saw a behind the scenes where they shot that uh, scene like six or seven times and every single time they shot that scene, uh, The Rock passed out. He was really dedicating himself so much to the role that he passed out seven times trying to shoot this movie. And when that specific scene came across in the film, it was unbelievable, you know, the entire audience erupted. Um, so I think that this is a situation where you, you have a perfect actor for a perfect role. Um, there's a Hercules movie that came out earlier this year and nobody went to go see it and it was pretty poorly reviewed. Um, this Hercules movie, people are excited to see because everyone knows that The Rock is a big, strong actor and he, he fits the role for Hercules perfectly. It's almost like Robert Downey Jr. for Iron Man, right? Robert Downey Jr.'s movies don't necessarily make a billion dollars. And not every single Marvel movie makes a billion dollars. But when you put Robert Downey Jr. in the Iron Man suit together, they make a billion dollars. And I kind of feel like that's how this is, where it's like, you know, you have The Rock here and you have The Hercules, and it, it just makes so much sense to put them in the same movie as that role that it works perfectly. Um, something that I, I didn't like about the movie was that it's, it's very by the numbers. Um, it's, it's a pretty, you know, the, the, the acts and the, and the action beats and the acting is it's pretty, you know, straightforward as you would expect from an action movie. However, there was a very large twist that they did um, about the Hercules myth and that was the most interesting thing about the film. I don't want to spoil it but the way they treat the myth of Hercules is very unique and it actually changes um, the entire film and that I had to give the movie um, you know a higher score just based on that because they were able to carry that theme throughout the entire movie and it made it a little bit more unique than your traditional you know sword and sandal uh, action flick. Uh, one thing I must uh, mention is uh, Ian McShane uh, he plays a wizard, and I, I don't even—I can't even pronounce his name because the names are tough to pronounce in this film. His role is awesome. He almost made—he stole the movie. Honestly, everything he does and says in this movie is hilarious. And um, you know, one of the best things about this film is, is all the supporting cast. This has a really good supporting cast. Um, all of the different characters that Hercules interacts with are really, really uh, great actors, and it's, and it's a lot of fun to see them. And um, I think we have a franchise here. Like the way the film ends is definitely open ended, and um, I would like to see another Hercules movie uh, starring The Rock. Uh, you know, altogether, I think it was a really fun summertime action film. It's not gonna, you know, beat out movies uh, of this summer like Dawn or The Planet of the Apes or Captain America in terms of quality, but it's definitely up there. Um, you know, it's definitely something that if you pay your price of admission, you'll like it, especially if you're a fan of The Rock. This is probably one of the best films he's been in in terms of, uh, you know, his ability to perform. Um, all, all together, I give it a 7 out of 10. Uh, but that's a really strong 7 out of 10. Uh, if I did half C's, I would do 7.5s, but I don't believe I don't believe in half C's. So it's going to be a 7 out of 10. Um, go check it out. If you're looking for a good, fun action film, go see Hercules. Word. Peace on checking in with Nerd Era. Peace.